try Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Forever Good morning. I ended up going in our RV. It's not like we haven't been using it, so there's just like random stuff everywhere all around. But there was a here, let me flip the camera around. I was sitting on the porch, minding my own business, enjoying it. Is it's not that cold, by the way. I'm just being I don't know. I prefer to be super cozy, like I'm that person, or even though it's warm out, I just I like to feel cozy. So I put on this coat. It's really not that cold. It's going to be like a high of 80 something today, but right now it's 60 something. So instead of grabbing a sweater, I just grabbed this from the closet, but I was minding my own business enjoying my cup of coffee on the porch and then this yellow hornet just decided to look for its home or whatever it was doing. So I was like, yeah, peace out. <laughs> so I came in here. By the way, I thought I would do a vlog style video today instead of lash videos. Uh, lash videos are my mo most common and most watched videos. I just like, just like a random rabbit hole that I fell down totally by accident. I did not start my channel to do DIY lashes. I had my channel for... A f how long did I have my channel before I started like doing DIY lashes? Was it 2019? Was it the same year? I think I had it for a few months. Yeah, I think I had it for like half a year. Um, until I fell down the rabbit hole. But I was taking off my eyelashes yesterday and then I noticed I have, I don't know if it's a sty or something in my eye. So I just took off my lashes completely and I'm going to give them a break. And then also my natural lashes, I feel like they just need a break. I've been tugging on them more more than I should have lately. Uh, I'm usually pretty gentle with removers and stuff and you shouldn't feel any damage. But there were a few instances within the past couple of weeks where I would just... I just kept tugging on it um, instead of being gentle and I knew that I shouldn't have done that. It's just I have a bad habit of doing that sometimes and I ripped out a lot of my own natural lashes. So I, I just want to give them a break and I put a little bit of mascara on although I'm sure that's probably not. If you have a sty, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be wearing anything like on your eyes. I don't know, on your lashes. But here we are. So I'm just sitting here in the RV where it's nice and quiet. No hornets <laughs> or yellow jackets, whatever that was. I wanted to do a morning routine, but I couldn't go to bed. I w went to bed at like 10 o'clock at night, and then my husband was doing so much work in the basement. He's like, we're doing a, a lot of like finishing touches around the house, and he was doing a like doing sheetrock, um, building a wall, spackling, and it was just making so much noise that he woke me up at midnight and then I couldn't fall back asleep so four o'clock in the morning I decided to make myself a turmeric latte that you guys saw and then do some reading I have a book that I'm reading called quiet time pepper <laughs> this cat's like always frolicking it's like he the first thing he asks in the morning is to just go outside so I was reading my book and then I was so tired you know how you're like awake but you're just so exhausted and tired I ended up falling asleep and then my daughter woke up early in the morning and she joined me on the couch. So then I woke up and it was already 9 o'clock. So now it's actually 9.40. And I usually like to have breakfast first thing in the morning. I'm not going to lie. I at least have water with lemon. And then I'll put my like B vitamins in there. I'll take my probiotic. Whatever it is I'm taking for the day. And that's like that I always do with a glass of water. And I would say like 75% of the time I try to have breakfast before coffee because I don't want to have coffee on an empty stomach. But today I just was not feeling it. <laughs> I just was not feeling it. So I'm just being honest. So I'm just going to sit here and 
enjoy my coffee and then make the kids some breakfast and then once they have breakfast they just kind of we're kind of like on summer vacation at this point because i do homeschool we're basically done so after breakfast they just kind of like play do whatever just be kids that's kind of like our life lately i watch you as you sleep you don't know i'm looking with you everything's complete do you know how much i love you Put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would Cause I Cleaned the table post breakfast. Now I'm gonna go do my skincare, and I do still have my frownies on from last night. And yes, I still use them. I'll kind of talk about them, I guess, as I do my skincare. The kids are kind of changing into bathing suits. I'm gonna wash out the pool water. I got this cute little. I got it for myself. Let's be honest, but I knew the kids were gonna use it. I don't know if anybody has ever heard of the brand Mini Dip. It's sold at Target and I think other places. Obviously, they have their own website. It's pretty expensive. It's like 60, 70, 80 something dollars for, uh, it's like an adult sunbathing pool of sorts and they have the cutest designs. So aesthetically pleasing, beautiful, um, but I just can't imagine paying that much money for a tiny little pool. So I went on Amazon to look for like a sunbathing pool and then this one came up. I'll show you guys outside. It's actually really cute. I don't know why it's so bright. Um, so the water's kind of been there sitting there for a few days so i'm just gonna put some fresh water in there for them it's supposed to be 80 something degrees today like i said so put some fresh water in there and then add some hot water so that it's not too cold and they're just changing into bathing suits and they're gonna be playing and that's kind of how our days are lately if you don't stay at home and you work outside the home then obviously your mornings are gonna look a lot different from mine but me i stay home i do youtube i um homeschool my kids from home so I literally do everything from home so my morning schedules and things that I do are it's just gonna look a lot different from someone who has to get up early in the morning and leave the house and their kids go to school um, all that stuff so just keep that in mind <laughs> even people that homeschool like from my own friends their mornings might look different you know just everybody's life looks different and then also a disclaimer because I think this is like a big thing with social media is I'll do, I do this myself. Like you'll see something one time and in our minds, we assume that it happens like all the time. So my mornings don't always look like this, but there are certain things that I do every single morning. Like let me actually take these off and start talking. You just kind of like wet them and then slide your fingers underneath. And they usually come right off. And I did notice that so they, when they really dry down, it almost acts like a pore strip. Like sometimes I would see like my own hair on here. So basically what this is, is kind of like a craft paper material almost. And it smells like a stamp. The stickiness feels like a stamp. These have been around for such a long time. They come in this diamond shape here. Well, actually, let me show you guys. I am all done with this box here. And I kept it just so that I can say that I actually did an entire box and each box has 144 patches and I was pretty consistent for a whole month and then I was kind of like on and off but it comes almost looks like a harmonica and each rectangle has four triangles and two like these two of these diamond shapes and you place them on your forehead these are meant for the forehead you wet them with a little bit of water let them get a little bit sticky hold your skin taut place it down like with your palm and then overlap the other ones that way the edges are overlapping you're not going to get any like if you placed one next to the other um you might create like a, a line so overlapping is ideal 
and I have had a disc board in the past for an entire year and it, I did love it. I loved how smooth my forehead was. Some things that I didn't like about it is I did not like that I think all three times like my eyebrows were always funky and I just couldn't control it. Once the deal is done, it's done. Like you can't undo it. So my eyebrows would just stay that way for, it's just my eyebrows I guess. Like this one used to be pretty over arched. I feel like I still cannot lift it how I used to be able to lift it. It's been, the last time I had disc port was August of 2021. It is now May, it's basically June of 2022. So it's been quite a bit and I know that my disc port is gone because my, you know, my fine lines are back. So it's completely gone, but I still feel like the muscles in this eyebrow just have not fully recovered. Like, I don't know if it's the nerve connectors, however it works. So this eyebrow right here has not fully recovered. And then I started getting this really weird dimple here. I started noticing it a few months back and then I started, like you can totally see it right now. And I was looking at other videos, like it's not something that I have ever noticed before. I was looking at other videos in the past and it was a little bit subtle but it was just definitely not this prominent. So what I think happened is I, I can feel, like I can tell, I know how this eyebrow used to be. I know how the movement used to be. Like you know yourself, you just know yourself. Um, and the movement has not fully returned. So what I'm thinking is that the other muscles kind of overcompensated and created this dimple. And I've read from a few people that that can be a thing, it can be common. So I'm not sure if it will ever fully recover. And then the eyebrow situation, I'm like, I have one photo, I'll try to insert it here if I remember. Uh, when I first got it done, my eyebrows were crazy when I would lift them up. Like some photos you see, the eyebrows are like perfectly even. Mine were just crazy and they would stay that way. Not crazy in like spocked eyebrow, but crazy as in they were completely super uneven. And I was not crazy about that. So I told her for the next appointment and the next appointment, it was better, definitely better. I feel like it's like a learning curve. Everybody's, you know, muscle, everybody's different. Everybody's unique. So the second time it was better, but still my eyebrows weren't even. And then the third time I went to a different injector and very, this is not like an injector thing. You could be, go to the most experienced injector who is very knowledgeable and just knows her stuff. But sometimes these things happen. So I got like a pretty droopy, pretty droopy eyelid. And after that, I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give it a break and then I started researching into it and based off my own research, I just personally don't think that I would ever get Dysport again, Botox, any neurotoxin, botulinum toxin. This is just a very personal decision that I have formed. Again, I loved the effects and the results and I think it can really make people look so youthful. But for me, for the pros and cons, it's just not worth it. For me personally again like i'm all for taking care of yourself and you know obviously i do my own extensions lashes nails and all that stuff so i'm not against any of that at all that's not what i'm trying to say for me it's just the pros and cons of certain decisions like i would much rather just do things like skincare you know try to take care of my skin eat right all that good stuff um whereas like let's say BBLs for example. For some people, the pros and cons, you know, the pros might outweigh the cons and they'll, no problem for them. Whereas for me, that's like not even on my radar knowing that I can die within seconds from a surgery like that. Not that I ever like, seriously considered it. I'm just saying, I'm just giving an example of weighing situations that have these pros and cons. So it's not completely non-invasive when it comes to these injections and I feel like society is just so widely accepted so I would just love for people like my main message is just to just kind of encourage people to um, don't just go with the flow because everyone's doing it because that's what I did without literally knowing anything at all about it and this goes for anything not just this I mean this goes for literally anything like even if I were to tell you about tape and extensions don't just take my word for it do your own research and then at the end of the day make the decision is this something that I want to do that's all I'm saying so back to the frownies I think they're great they do smooth your forehead because obviously you have something plastered to your forehead so it is going to be smooth um, they're not too uncomfortable I fairly easy to use, you know, user friendly, very non-invasive. You can apply it on top of your skincare, whereas other ones you can't do that so much. And they do work. Once you take them off, your forehead is nice and smooth. 
but the effects do go away. That's just the reality of it, especially for someone like me that has already developed pretty dominant fine lines, like they're just there. The frownies are not really going to reverse the clock. You can do things like take care of your skin and it definitely makes you more aware of your facial muscle movements. Like I've definitely become much, because my muscles are kind of like not moving throughout the entire night, when they do move, I'm much more aware of it thanks to frownies for sure. So I try not to do too much of this and make too many faces and things like that to really, to really like create those fine lines. It's not Botox. It's not going to work the same way as Botox. It's not going to, you know, unless you're wearing them 24 seven, which not many people do with anyone. They're a great thing to include into your nighttime skincare routine. And I will continue to use them just to make sure that I'm not like making uh, facial expressions at night, especially because I'm a side sleeper and all this stuff and I just like my face can get smushed in the pillow and then you wake up and you have like all these lines everywhere and I do make a lot of expressions when I'm sleeping. I'm sure many people do. So that is great for that. But for like reversing the clock, maybe if you start early as like a preventative measure and you really like tune in to your muscle movements and your skincare and everything, you know, I don't know, but that compared to Botox, they're not really comparable. They kind of do the same thing in terms of, you know, you're not moving your muscles at nighttime, but that's that's about it. That's as comparable as they are. So now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna actually do my skincare. I'm gonna wash my face with water, and that's something that I do every morning. I just kind of wash with water because I have pretty dry skin, so I don't like to overdo it, strip it, anything like that. So I'll just wash it with water and then move on to different skincare products. So my face is washed and while it's still damp, I like to go into my serums and I switch this up all the time. Recently, I started using the Glow Maker Serum from Maylove once again. It's a vitamin C, vitamin E, ferulic acid. Sorry, my kids are pretty loud in the basement. It almost feels like they're right here. Oh well, no, they're actually right here. But this, I just felt like my skin was looking a little bit dull. It needed a little bit of brightening, a little bit of something. And I just loved how my skin looked when I was using this. So I was like, let me bring this back into my skincare routine because I stopped using it for a few months. And then I also have the Bee Hydra from Junk Elephant, which I probably want to repurchase. I feel like there's other things out there that can help with hydration. I think this is a great formula. And I feel like my skin was more plump and less dry when I was using it. Like lately it's just been, even though it's summertime and it's not winter, it's just been super dry. Like it just needs some extra TLC and I haven't used that in a while. So I was like, maybe it is a great formula and my skin did like it. So I'm bringing it back into my skincare routine as well, but I probably wouldn't repurchase that, probably research into something a little more affordable because that stuff is pricey. And then I use this serum right here. This is a multi-peptide youth serum from Rejuvenate. Is it the right way? Yeah. Multi-peptide youth cream. And it's like a lotion. You just apply it morning and evening. I use it morning and evening. It has a bunch of different great peptides in it and skin benefiting ingredients. And then lotion, facial lotion. I have this one from Acura. Absolutely love it. And then a sunscreen. And I have the Elta MD sunscreen which i absolutely love it's like a tinted sunscreen i'm not gonna do my makeup today because we're just gonna be hanging around the house hanging out outside enjoying the weather apply some of this and just go sit outside hang out with the kids and that's kind of what we're gonna do today this tinted sunscreen might seem like it'll be super greasy at first it's a thinner type formula and it offers just a tiny smidge of like sheer coverage like barely anything, but it just makes your skin look healthy, offers sun protection. I think I'm gonna finish the vlog here. This was like a little chit chatty, hang out with me, honest chit chats type of vlog. I didn't really expect to talk about the frownies and the disport <laughs> to that extent, but it's definitely something that I'm, I've, I have strong, I have strong, I have formed a pretty strong opinion on. And again, we are all different. Everybody likes different things from the clothes we wear to the food we like to the things we do. Like everybody does what is best for them and we have to remember that. I'm just, my main takeaway from that is to like be your own advocate. You know yourself best and don't just always go with the flow with trends and I have to do this myself. It's so easy to kind of be absorbed into whatever everybody else is doing and just like, well, they're doing it. So I'm going to do it too. Just make sure that, you know, that's the best decision for you, especially when it comes to something that does have potential potential risks, side effects that aren't really talked about honestly. They're they're really not. Like this is stuff that I had to hunt for on my own and it's just not 
like information that people talk about so that's kind of like my main takeaway from that don't ever feel i don't want anybody to feel guilty or like i'm here you're here kind of situation absolutely not you do you boo that is like always what i say you do you boo whatever works for you um but i did want to kind of share my own thoughts and opinions on that for whoever may be watching and maybe it'll get you to do the same and kind of like you know do your own research and all that stuff so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in these little chit chat vlogs let me know if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in future videos Just loving.